What is going on guys? It's the next day, it's Tuesday. It's about 8.15 in the morning. And I've just been rudely awoken by my boss saying that I need to get into work an hour and a half early, unbeknown to me. So that's not the ideal start to the day, is it? But we get over it. Last night, um, the footage that you saw was post back session. So I hit some back, we did, I went over to the squat rack, uh, put, put some weight on the bar and just went ham on some uh, rack pulls. So at the gym that I went to yesterday, they actually don't have a specific like deadlift platform. So it's a lot easier to do rack pulls. And you know, it's a lot better on the back as well, but I, I sort of switch between rack pulls and deadlifts. Deadlifts is one of my favorite exercises for intensity. And um, you know, if I'm in that mood that I just want to move some fucking weight, um, deadlifts is, is what I really enjoy. But we did rack pulls last night, so probably about 10 sets total, um, working up to 200 kg for sets of eight. And I did uh, 180 for sets of you know 12 to 15. So uh, it was probably about four or five working sets and three three sets, three warm up sets to get up to my working weight, and then another couple of um, warm down sets to just uh, finish off the pyramid. So either way, last night I had a bit of a bit of a binge, quite a good feed, not too bad, but um, we're going to see what I weigh this morning. So this is going to be the uh, the starting weight. Let's see. So that is 92.7 kilograms, and I reckon that's around about 205 pounds. So that is the starting point, guys, 92.7. The lightest I've ever been was 80, I think I got, I dipped under 87 kgs once in my prep last year for my show. So um, that, <clears throat> you know, if, I've, if I get down to 87 and I'm a little bit leaner than I was before, that means I've put on a little bit of muscle and that's all you can hope for in natural bodybuilding. Um, you know, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And, uh, you know, nothing's going to come easy. You only get out what you put in and you've got to put in a lot of work in natural bodybuilding to make, to make gains, unless you're genetically blessed like that 250 pound monster that I talked about yesterday, um, which I'm certainly not. So yeah, 92.7 kgs. That's the first way in. Now today I'm going to make it really, really simple. I've got a 12 hour shift at work and, um, I, and I've got to get in there early, like I said, so I'm just going to fast today. Um, I've done it before, you know, I had my last meal at probably two o'clock in the morning and it's quarter past eight now. So uh, I'm just going to fast throughout the whole day. I finish work at nine o'clock and then, um, I'm going to come home, see how I feel. I'm probably going to feel quite depleted and stuff, but you know, it's all good. It's uh, it's the first day of dieting, so I'm not going to lose any muscle. That's for sure. And um, when I get home, I'll have a good hit of carbs and protein, and then I'll probably go and work out. So check in with you guys throughout the day, see how we're going. But uh, this is day one, day one of my road to redemption as far as my body's concerned. Uh, it's not too bad at the moment, but I do want to get in some really, really good shape um, because, you know, my some of my financial goals actually depend on it. Um, I need to... Uh, I need to have the look that's necessary to be successful in the fitness industry. So uh, that's one of my other goals too. But we've also got one other cool thing happening today, uh, which involves money. And I will, I can't forget it actually, I've got to write it down. Better write it down in my, my hand. But uh, either way, I'll see you guys later on. And I will check in with you guys, tell, us, tell you what I'm doing. And... Uh, I'm tired right now, I need to get some caffeine. I don't know about you guys, but I like my drinks cold, especially here in Alice Springs. I think it's going to be 40 degrees today. So we need plenty of motherfucking ice. Or else that shit is going to go warm straight away.
over there in the distance you can see Alice Springs. Uh, the place I actually work is about 20 minutes out of Alice, uh, but it's still no, <laughs> well it's not any closer to anywhere else. Um, Alice Springs is pretty fucking remote. Um, if, you, if you ever watch the Australian weather, the, uh, the number that you see right in the middle of Australia is Alice Springs. So it is on the map, there's about 30,000 people that live here, but um, it's certainly it's not a city, it's a town. So. But it's my second home and you know I love the place to be honest. The scenery is beautiful and um, I'm sure I'll show you more of that in future episodes. But basically a um, couple of things in my mind. I'm, um, I'm just actually driving into town to go to a second um, client's house. So I did a few hours at my normal place and now I'm going into town to work at this other place that we work at. So I just thought I'd take this opportunity to run you through a couple of plans that I had today um, which need to be done. So basically what I've actually decided to do is to keep my credit card at bay, just pay the, pay the minimum amount um, and use that cash that I've got in my other account as a deposit on an investment property because the way I see it man, I'm not 100% happy in my job if I decide to leave, um, the banks are going to look at me, you know, negatively until I've got another, a good, you know, a good base. Wherever I decide to go, whatever job I decide to do, it's going to be at least six to twelve months before the banks will even look at me again um, to to lend me uh, some more money to buy an investment property. So what I've decided to do is just to get in on the market as soon as I can. I got my first place. Now I'm looking at an investment property. Um, my offer has actually been accepted, which is fantastic. But what that means is that this is real now. This is real shit. And today I've actually got to put the first thousand dollars deposit down in a trust account. Then what I've got to do is get a building and pest inspection in the next 14 days. Once those conditions are met, I pay the remainder of ten thousand dollars. So I'll pay another nine, and that that holds the property and says that I'm happy with everything and the property, the deal goes unconditional. So at that point, I've my 10 grand is locked in and I have another, uh, another 21 days following that to then get all my finance ready and on the 21st day following that, I will, um, I'll be uh, doing the settlement, money will be transferred, the, um, the, the title will be in my name and the rental income will start coming in my name too. So what I'm hoping is that with, with my first loan, um, I didn't actually have to pay any mortgage payments for the first month. So I'm hoping that will happen on this one. And I'm also going to inquire about just doing interest only as well because, um, you know, just to decrease costs, like first up. Uh, until I until I really know my financial situation, how I'm going, paying off two places, you know, I'd like to just pay interest on this first on this uh, investment property. So it's it's really exciting, you know. As I as I mentioned um, before, this is the first step in my ultimate dream to become, you know, a, a successful property investor and to not have to work a normal nine to five job anymore. Um, this is this is the first the first step. So. The first house I bought was worth 360,000. This house I got for 291. So that is, you know, total debt of 651,000, which is it's scary, but at the same time I know what I need to do and these numbers don't really scare me to be fair. So um, my total debt will be 651. Um, actually no it won't. It'll be less the 40 grand or 40 or 50 grand equity that I'll have. So I'll have around about $600,000 worth of worth of debt. Um, but I will have $380 a week coming in from my uh, investment property. I will have $200 a week coming in from my flatmate at my place. So you know that's $580 a week um, that's helping me pay my mortgages. And um, and with my income, you know, I do have disposable income. I don't have any kids. I don't have a partner. Uh, I've got a few bills, but I still do have the disposable income to use to uh, cash flow these properties for at least the first two years um, and then we'll see what happens after that but yeah so I, what, two things I have to do today I've got to go to the bank pay the minimum payment on my credit card so they can get off my back and then I have to go and make this thousand dollar deposit 
into the trust account to hold this place for me. So I'm really excited. I, um, I, yeah, this is the first of many, I hope. So like I was saying yesterday, the people in my circles, people around my age, they just don't, they just, um, well, I don't know if it's, that, if, if it's the fact that they don't have the income. Um, you know, I just fell into this job. I'm a disability support worker, and after a year's worth of that, I got promoted to shift supervisor. Now, I would never have thought that I'd be a supervisor, um, but once you get to know your job, and you get to know what people are meant to do and when they're meant to do it, you can be a supervisor. And Alice Springs is an awesome place in that you can get opportunities to move up the ladder in whatever field you're gonna be in. So I chose care work, now I'm a supervisor, I've got that income, and I'm in a position where I can buy an investment property. And I can't fucking wait, because it's on the Gold Coast, and it's mean, and honestly, at the end of the day, I think I'll probably live there at some point. Like, it's, it's a really sweet place. Um, in a awesome complex similar to what I've got now like in a complex sort of setting but much much bigger cheaper and it's yeah it's an awesome deal Coomera is the place that I've decided to buy for various reasons which I'll, I'll go into in a future episode um, but yeah for now all you guys need to know is that I'm buying my second property and uh, the deal will be going unconditional in two weeks and that is when shit gets really serious and that's when I need to have my finance sorted which I will be doing over the next few days so that's it guys just a little bit of an update uh, I've got lots of things that I need to do lots of things that are going through my head at the moment but I'm hoping that in you know in that 45 days time or however long it's going to be I will have the second property I'll be in New Zealand on holiday because that's coming up which is going to be awesome and you know life will be will be rolling let's see how we go I'll check in with you guys later on still fasting it's about one o'clock in the afternoon I'm feeling okay feeling a little hungry so you know I may cut it a little bit short but we'll see guys just a quick word on the investment property now first thing I'm gonna say is that not every property is gonna be a good investment um, you really have to do your research it's not a matter of just going out and buying one property and expecting it to go up in value I mean that doesn't happen you might get lucky but it's probably a bad thing if you get lucky on your first one because then you'll go and try it again and really fuck up so um, you know there's a few there's a few things that I looked for which was obviously a, a low um, vacancy rate uh, I don't want any dramas with trying to get tenants in my place I obviously want a, a um, up-and-coming area so places with infrastructure with with plans in place to to uh, you know increase population increase jobs and therefore increase prices and um, the place that I've decided is a place called Coomera or Upper Coomera and that is about 20 minutes um, northwest of the Gold Coast going inland towards Brisbane um, and you know it's been on my it's been on my mind for a while now that place in particular and um, and it just so happens that at the end of last year there was after 10 to 15 years of talks finally a massive Coomera town centre has been signed off and it will start and it will be being built um, they've even had to they've, they've had to put 70 million dollars into the highway to um, to accommodate for all the new traffic new people that are going to be coming around that area and not only that but the Commonwealth Games are being held in the Gold Coast in two years in 2018 so that is another huge draw card and um, I'm happy with my purchase and I'll go through the details in the future but um, 291,000 decent deal and uh, I'm, I'm guaranteed to make money on that one day I'll tell you that and that's the main thing so I'll talk to you guys later I've got to go back to work all right everybody a couple of things are done I paid the credit card so that's good and I have paid the first thousand dollars of the deposit um, to the real estate agent so uh, there's no turning back now um, one thing that is worrying me is the fact that I actually only got approved for 250,000 so this place uh, the offer that got accepted was 291,000 um, now I have effectively bitten off a little bit more than I can chew but I have a plan 
and it's going to work out and if I want something I'm going to get it and I'm going to make it happen so I didn't want to miss out on this place I'd been researching a lot a lot of different places um, for a while around the Coomera area every single one that I was going for was gone like that it was gone they don't even stay on the market at least uh, more than a week these um, three bed two bathroom townhouses so I finally got myself one it's an awesome one I'm really happy with it I don't have to put any work into it um, the tenancy is just going to roll over so it's fantastic I'm fucking stoked and I can't wait to actually go and see it to be honest but um, until then I am fucking starving it's about five o'clock still fasting and we're about to go back into town so I'm actually going to get something to eat because I just cannot wait I can't last I'm too fucking hungry so uh, yeah but the abs are there so all we have to do is sculpt it a little bit more and we'll be back back in uh, fine form so Alright, I could not wait. First thing in the menu, one honey sandwich. Mm. Guys, so I just finished work and you know I'm feeling I'm feeling alright. Not too exhausted. I was feeling pretty fucking shit before. Um, but I had that monster and that sort of picked me up a bit. And um, I had another sandwich, so I am full of carbs but no protein, and that is not ideal. So first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is have a good amount of protein. Um, I've got some chicken there, I've got some Greek yogurt and um, and some tuna. So I'll decide, you know, whatever I want to have, it's all good. Because um, at the moment I'm trying to hit about 200 grams of protein a day. Uh, I've tried to hit that every day for the last three or four years and it's, it's worked pretty well for me. So, um, yeah. I'll tell you what. I am fucking hungry right now, so this tastes like the shit. The shit. Tastes like the shit, not shit.